Howdy Creeps, it's Cameron again, and welcome back to my channel where I talk about books, movies, writing, and all things. Just this past Halloween, you may remember a series of videos that I did entitled Horror Library, where I went over some of the horror paperbacks in my collection. Those videos were inspired in part by this book right here, Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix and Will Erickson, as well as Will Erickson's blog called Too Much Horror Fiction. Because I am an avid collector of these dusty little paperbacks, I wanted to give everybody a look into my library so they could see some of the really awesome cover art. And since those videos were so well received, I decided maybe it's time to bring the series back. So in this new episode of Horror Library, I'm going to go over all of the Pinnacle horror paperbacks that I have in my collection. Pinnacle was yet another imprint of Kensington Publishing, who you probably remember published all of those really awesome zebra horror paperbacks in the 80s and 90s. They usually had a skeleton on the cover. I did make a video of my zebra book collection, which I will link down below. Um, in this one, you're going to see all of the Pinnacle titles, and you will notice there are a lot of similarities in the cover art. The only difference really is that the Pinnacle imprint did not often use that skeletal image on the cover. But regardless, Pinnacle had some amazing covers and I want to show all of those off to you right now. Kicking it off, we have a Nazi werewolf novel called Werewolves by Jerry and Sharon Ayer. Claw Hammer by Paul Dale Anderson. A personal favorite cover of mine, The Midnight Hour by Donald Bacon. Here are three books by Vincent Courtney, Vampire Beat, its sequel Harvest of Blood, and Let's Pretend You're Dead. Blood Beast by Don Diamasa. Blind Hunger by David Dark. Schoolhouse and Mind Stealer, both by Lee Dugan. Two books by Elizabeth Argas, The Shape Changer and Devil's Gate. Bloodthirst by L.A. Freed. Night Music by Sheila Bristow Gardner. The Calling and Altered Egos, both by Kenneth Gerard. Dawn of the Vampire by William Hill. The Gilgul by Henry W. Ackerman. Dark Advent by Brian Hodge. The Devil's Breath by Robert Irvine. Zombie House by Martin James, AKA James Kisner. Ghouls by Edward Lee. The Keeper by Robert D. Lee. Next are two books by Graham Masterton, Charnel House and Feast. The Farm by Scott Nicholson. The Forsaken by Cameron Reed. Shadow Walkers by Nina Romberg. Blood Feud by Sam Siciliano. The Eyes of Tori Webster by Roy Sorrells. Vampire Winter and Darkness on the Ice, both by Lois Tilton. The Twelfth Child by Raymond Van Over. Ah, <sighs> a face only a mother could love. Night Brothers by Sidney Williams. And lastly, here are two books by T. Lucian Wright, The Hunt and Thirst of the Vampire. So those are all of the pinnacle horror titles in my collection. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Horror Library. I really hope you enjoyed it, and I will be back for another one very soon. I will leave links down below in the graveyard where you can purchase Paperbacks from Hell by Grady Hendrix and Will Erickson, as well as a link to Will Erickson's blog called Too Much Horror Fiction. I also want to give a really quick shout out to Leon, the paperback maniac. He has a channel here on YouTube, and he has been doing some really awesome videos all about these books. If you like these videos, you're going to love his. He did a video about his pinnacle horror collection recently, and it's amazing. I really highly suggest you go check it out. Again, link is down below in the graveyard. And until next time, later creeps.